Okay, this is just going to be a quick video. I was walking down High Street and I thought I'd pop into A Plan Insurance because everyone keeps telling me about the tunnels or the vaulted ceilings underneath. And needless to say, on first um, speaking to one of the guys in A Plan, he said it wasn't very impressive. It's got vaulted ceilings, mate. Um, so you come down this little access door here and you come down. Um, now you can see they are absolutely beautiful. The stonework's very similar to that that I found down in the biter. Um, you can see the stonework comes down here, right into the corner. Um, it's all really nice and fresh. So it's really in good condition. And then it goes up and over. Um, now up and over there, over there, it looks like it might continue. I'll try and get the camera over in a bit. Um, but look at this, it is absolutely glorious. Look at the colour in that one, if you can see, if I can get the torch right, you see the lines are actually colourful. Um, and then it comes down, um, see a bit of cross hatchings here, some uh, Powell style water bottles, um, if you remember Powell in Oxford. Um, and then it comes over and you've got a, a little entranceway here, which is coming from High Street. So again, that would have been, you can see all the wood that reinforces um, high street there and then again that's one of them one of them little hatches that come down um, the stonework's absolutely amazing by far the best preserved tunnel or vaulted ceilings that I've seen um, obviously you've got a bit of support there which was probably put in um, at a later date comes round beautiful bit of the vaulted ceiling there waste pipe I won't investigate that um, and then again, it comes around. I'll try and find some information out. But you can see the archway there continues on past that wall, which is a, a modern white painted brick wall. So I assume that these vaults do continue on further past. Um, again, you can see they've obviously lit it up here. It looks amazing. Look how perfect that stonework is. Absolutely amazing. Again, this is just under AA Plan Insurance in Oxford. So, right, but I'll show you this. So in here, let me, in fact, I'll turn the camera around and you'll be able to see it better. Okay, so again, here's the vaulted ceilings. You can see a little bit better now that I've got it turned around. It looks absolutely amazing. You can imagine this when it was done originally. It looked phenomenal. Again, there's that opening that goes out to High Street. Um, and then through here, which is an archway again this so this goes out onto high street so now this would have been a tunnel potentially that went across high street so a bit of a step oh got a bit of a hole in the floor so the old mains cables coming in and the old telephone exchange so this may well have, if you step up here it may well have gone out onto onto high street well, that does. I'll find that exact point outside. Um, you can see a lot of the more modern red brick that's been installed. Um, and then you've got the mains cable that comes in, the old paper lead cable. Um, and it looks like they've had an uprated water pipe. Again, there's the reinforcement from the road. And then this is now looking back into A plan. So the original stonework again. Now this is down the side. Of that bit and it's just old fuse boards and the rest but you can see there on the right hand side where the tunnel would have continued through so I'm sure that if I go to some of the other ones I may find that I can get along but yeah Let's see what's under the floor is anything interesting under there you can see not much to be seen under there. Okay. Well, that's it. So yet again, from a, a couple of stories of people telling me that there was cable, um, that there was uh, vaulted tunnels underneath, A Plan Insurance was not wrong. They were not wrong at all. Again, I'll just showcase you some of the stone. To think that these have probably been stood here for a, a thousand years is unbelievable. 
Now, again, you don't know whether any of these tunnels, I mean, look at that. It's done quite well with the old, the big blocks. And then they've put almost like brick sized blocks the whole way along. Um, and it, it does show a join, so it does look as if that tunnel may well have, or this archway may well have gone further. Because I doubt they would have finished it on a decorative piece. I would have thought that they would have, they would have just finished that standard. Well, absolutely amazing. I don't know if anyone of the tradesmen remember these style steps, now banned on site. In fact, that's F.G. Olden's. So, the plumbers. Okay, wonderful. I can't see any markings on any of the stone. Um, I'm just glad that, yet again, my smiley face has managed to get me in such an amazing find. Sorry about the strobing. It's messing with the hurts of the light. See, that is far too formed just to be the end of the tunnel. Wow. Okay. okay. Well, that concludes another random walk around Oxford, finding uh, beautiful spaces that are often hidden. Uh, I shall finish with this as my backdrop. Um, often features that are hidden that no one knows about, or people here say, um, and then no one actually bothers to come and find. Well, slowly but surely, I'm finding them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day. Don't forget, go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. Um, the videos are much better quality on there as Facebook doesn't let me up upload decent ones. Also like and share because the more I share and the more um, videos I have to show people what I'm doing, um, the easier it is to get in places. If I can show them other videos of the tunnels and artifacts that I've found, then um, they tend to, tend to be a bit um, easier to gain access into places. But anyway, I hope you have a good rest of the day and I'll see you the next time I find something.